Comedians that's just figuring the shit out, you know what I mean? <laughs> Don't judge me, you know what I'm saying? I might say some shit up here I don't mean, I might get some. Let's, let's go with it, all right? See, I just moved to Atlanta. I came here to chase my dreams. I've been chasing my dreams about three months now, and I quit. Like, I give up. Like, this, this shit is not working out. I gave it a shot, and it's just, you just gotta be honest with yourself. You know, because like the people around you, they're not gonna be honest with you. They're gonna be telling you like, hey, you can do it. Sometimes you can't. Like you, you just, you just gotta accept. You remember like, you remember when you like was a kid, you told your mom like, hey, when I grow up, I'm gonna be an astronaut. And she was like, wow, I believe in you. You're gonna make it. You're not. <laughs> How many astronauts do you know? And I'm like, that's, that's a legit question to everybody in this room. Like, who knows anybody that works at NASA? Does you? You heard of them? Ah, right, yeah, these. We're not gonna count them. They're at the front. We're not gonna count them. But we all know somebody that work at Walmart. We know at least like 10, 15 niggas from Target. It's different. It's different. Yeah, yeah. So growing up, they told me uh, babies were a blessing. And I used to believe babies would be a blessing until I found out what an abortion was. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. There's a lot of women in here. Nobody ever had an abortion. Nobody. None of the men in here ever bullied a woman into abortion, ever. You never got your side girl pregnant, you ain't trying to get nobody to find out about you like, hey. Oh, hey bro, I see you bro. I see you bro. Yeah, hey. I'm gonna, hey look, right? I'm gonna see a lot of shit up here tonight. Look. I'm not a bad person. Yeah. I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out, right? But like, I can be nasty on stage, but like, I can't be nasty in bed. Like, I struggle with that. You know what I mean? Like, I can't talk dirty. You know, I can't talk. I don't know if it's because I like, my shit ain't that big, so like, I don't really believe in the shit I'm saying, you know? Like, I say, I don't really have no confidence when I'm saying it, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like you gotta have like a certain size for you to say certain shit. You know, like niggas with big dick, they can say whatever they want because they use the dick as a distraction. You know, they could be like, "Shut the fuck up, you stupid bitch." Who you calling a who? He just more dick. You like that, don't you? Fucking slut. I'm like, not no. Because he just give her more dick, but that shit does not work if you already given her all the dick you got. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I promise you, I promise you. And knowing me, like, I'll fuck around, I'll say some shit that just ruined the whole mood. Like, I'll just, I'll just fuck everything up. You like it? I know you like it. I know you like this thing, because I like it. <laughs> that did not come out. No, not like, no, where you going? No, why are you putting your clothes on? I promise I'm not gay. <laughs> yeah, you know, figuring it out, figuring it out. See, I just moved to Atlanta. Atlanta is expensive as fuck. Atlanta is Atlanta's so expensive, it made me wish I had a vagina. Yo. I'd sell it. <laughs> Yo, having a vagina is the way to go. Like, it's the perfect fucking business. Like, I don't know why females be looking for like love and loyalty. You have a vagina. Use it. Yo, if I had one, y'all could not get me out these streets, bro. I'm, yo, listen, listen. Yo, here's why selling pussy is the perfect business. For one, the vagina cleans itself, so you're never gonna pay for maintenance. You can never run out. And it's open seven days a week, which makes it better than Chick-fil-A. It's the perfect fucking job. Why would you not sell it? That's why, I, listen, having a vagina is the way to go. That's why it's so many transgender men in Atlanta. Yo, these niggas are trying to survive. <laughs> going, going to Dr. Miami and getting a pussy is an investment. Yeah. And speaking of trans, right? Like a lot of people say I'm transphobic. I'm not. I just believe in doing shit the right way. You know, do it right. If you're gonna transition from something, I should not be able to look at you and tell what you used to be. You know? You ever, you ever just been like, you ever seen like a woman just walking down the street and you just like, that's a nigga, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no fucking way that's a woman. Look, look at the shoulders, bro. Look at those legs. 
Look at the dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but I just believe in doing it right. So it's like, if you're going to switch teams, like, do it right. You know what I'm saying? Don't still wear the jersey of the last team you played for. So, like, all right. All right here's an analogy, right? Let's say I was a Nazi. Right? Like, Nazi. One of these, right? And I decided to switch teams and play for, like, the Jewish State Warriors or some shit. Right? <laughs> But I'm still wearing my Nazi uniform, like full Nazi drip, you know what I'm saying? I got like a swash with a tatted on my face. But I'm trying to tell the Jews like, hey, I'm on your team now. I promise I'm not, just tell me where everybody else is hiding. I promise I'm one of y'all. Can you see how like some Jews would have a problem with that? That's just how I feel, you know, it's just, it is what it is, you know? I almost had a baby. I almost. No, actually, I tried to get her to do the abortion, but she didn't. She took the baby and left, and I think that's worse. Because she ain't even give me a chance, bro, to, like, walk out or kill it, you know? She's like, Yo. She took my chance. Like, it's, I ain't know it's crazy. Like, she set me up, because she told me, like, hey, if I ever get pregnant, I'm going to get an abortion. This was before we ever had sex, and I'm like, hey, listen, I don't think you should say that out loud, because that makes it premeditated murder, and that's a bigger charge. <laughs> but since you already plan on doing the dirty work, I might as well go raw type shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck it. So, yeah, right, so, it happened, and like a few months later, she hit me up, she was like, hey, I'm pregnant, and it's yours. I'm like, first of all, the question shouldn't be whether or not the baby is mine, it should be, why is that baby still alive? <laughs> we had a deal. Hey, that's my time, bro, I appreciate y'all. My name is Bobby Scott. Yeah, keep it hard for Bobby Scott.